Okay, obviously uh, not the result we wanted, but you have to credit uh, Coach Barlow and the kids from Virginia State. Uh, they outplayed us on both sides of the ball. Uh, we didn't help ourselves in a lot of ways. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a loss that, uh, you know, it's tough for us, just like all losses are. But at the end of the day, my job as the head coach is to get our team better, and we'll start with that tomorrow. Um, we'll come back and, 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 and address the things that we need to address, but there's some things that I need to do better as a head coach, managing, managing the game, managing some uh, situations, managing some players. And uh, we'll, we'll do what we can do uh, to get better starting tomorrow. Question. Trip, Juwan, what was the biggest difference between practice and camp and then live action game? Oh, I'd say the, the difference was like the tempo. Well, not really the tempo, but like the difficult jersey, you know, then not knowing like really once you practice against somebody all summer, you get like used to that. So it was my first game, my first college game, so a little, a little nervous, you know, but not much. Really. Just going off what Pooley said, um, you get used to practicing against the same team every day. Just gotta, uh, we just gotta adjust. They, they were a good team. We gotta adjust to the um, different college days, like you said. So we'll be all right next week. Juan, what did you see on that last play that was intercepted? On the last play, uh, everything, a lot was going through my head. Um, fourth down, was, am I correct? Fourth down. I just wanted to make a play, try to do too much. I should have just settled down and just did what I do best is make a play. Uh, Taylor, I thought you were one of the bright spots tonight. You had some, some good punts from your own end zone and then you pinned them down to one. So it's also your first game. So you never, I guess you never want the punter to be the best player of the game, but how would you evaluate performance in that light? I mean, to me, yeah, like you said, it was the first game. Of course, nervousness and nervousness, nervousness, and all set in. But I knew I had to pin them down deep. But just being more consistent would help me become better. Coach, how would you evaluate the offensive line? It seemed like they had real problems, both running and pass protection. Uh, we struggled. We struggled as a team. It's not just on the offensive line. Uh, we punted the ball eight times, which isn't good. Uh, you know, had a costly turn there at the end. You know, we gave up some huge kickoff returns. Uh, so it's not just the offensive line, it's our team as a whole. Uh, the offensive line does have to get better. We do need to be able to run the football and stay on the field. But uh, there, there, there's a lot of work that our team needs to do as a group. Nigel, what's tough about trying to slow down Cannon? I'm going to say it was tough. We just got to believe in the coach and do our assignments, be where <clears throat> we, we need to be. And that'll stop, that'll stop the problem right there. Coach, what do you think? most surprised you about the performance tonight? Uh, I thought we'd be able to run the football. Uh, I thought we'd be able to run the football, and I thought we'd be able to do some things offensively that we weren't able to do. I looked up, uh, you know, at one point, we only had 100 yards of total offense. Um, you know, we got a good drive going. You know, had a penalty that killed us. Um, you know, nine penalties for 70 yards, that's that's more than, uh, than we usually have. And, you know, we're one for 12 on third down. You know, you're not going to beat anybody, you know. Division one, division two, division three. If you're one for 12 on third down, that, that means that you're not getting enough done on first down, and that you're probably in a lot, a lot more third and longs than you need to be. But uh, you know, the biggest surprise is obviously that I thought we played better on offense and defense. Uh, for anybody, yeah, for third downs at last count, you guys had third and nine yards or longer seven times. So, what do you guys have to do to clean that up? Uh, we, we gotta, we gotta play better on first down. You know, you gotta play better on first down, and obviously, you know, you had some first and 15s in there. You had some. You know, negative yardage plays and things like that. Uh, you know, we're, we're not going to put this on the kids. You know, this is something that the, the, the adults have to get fixed. And you know, the thing that I just told my team is that we're not going to let this uh, this this loss kill our season. You know, it's it's a loss. Obviously, we lost a rivalry game to a Division two school, so a lot of a lot of people are going to magnify it and so be it. But at the end of the day, it's a loss, and we'll come back and play William Mary next week and and uh, be ready to go when when, when they get here. Trip and uh, Juwan, how did you guys handle the the rotation that was going on? Were you comfortable with that? Yeah, I was um I was real comfortable because me and Trip real close, real close. So as as he was in, I helped him out. As I was in, he'll help me out. We just communicate, and that's all. That's all it is. Yeah, it was fine. Um, it was fine. We uh, just help each other when when um we come out the field, see what we seen from the sideline, just help help each other out. Like we said, we real close. It didn't really affect us. So. Nigel, as a whole unit, unit, how would you evaluate the defense? The defense, I mean, we played pretty good. Some stuff we need to clean up. We go back to the drawing board this week, get ready for when we marry. What stuff do you think you need to clean up? It's easy to pick and choose that little things. We just got to come together and play as one. 
I'll say this, our defense gave up 275 yards of offense. At the end of the day, if you can hold somebody under 300 yards of offense, you should win a football game. So I'm not going to blame our defense for this loss by any stretch. Coach, are there any um, mental aspects of the team that you Oh, yeah, man. I mean, we had three or four, five offsides penalties, you know, things like that that, uh, you know, you know, we had a, had a young, a young, young player had three or four penalties just jumping off sides, you know, things of that nature. We, we've got to be much better uh, mentally, and uh, you know, we've got to execute some of the things that we're being coached to execute. And we've got to do a better job coaching our players. And um, you know, again, like I said, that, that's my job, and that, that falls squarely on my shoulders. And uh, you know, I, I, I get paid a salary to, to uh, put a football team on the field that's uh, competitive enough to win football games, and I didn't do that tonight. Uh, Taylor, how much tougher does the the wind and the rain make it for you, punting? I mean, it, of course, it makes the ball heavier and the wind affects how your drop is, but you just got to be more consistent. Do you have to change any way, any of your technique at all? Depending upon the wind, you want to put the ball farther outside and be able to hit a better ball. Um, what are you guys going to do so this loss doesn't affect uh, we'll just come back tomorrow and go to work. You know, uh, we're, we're a family. You know, we, we, we spend, you know, 20 hours a week plus, uh, you know, staff time together. And, you know, we'll stick together. I, I think outside people, you know, will be more uh, upset about this loss than we will be. Obviously, we, we, don't, we don't play games to lose games. But the thing we'll do is we'll, we'll stick together and we'll be better next week. And um, while I'm your freshman, right? Yes. Yeah. So what do you think you'll do that differently for your second year? Because I know this is your first collegiate year. Well, I'll probably prepare harder. You know, that's that's it. Just prepare In mentally and physically. In what way? And like practice, right. like more more mental reps, more physical, and you know, 